Hello everyone, this is Anil from Informatica Support. Today I'm going to show you a demo on how to integrate MDM with Activos. So the agenda is the prerequisites and the impact of this new functionality and finally I will show you a demo how to do this. So very first thing what I have to do, I have to install MDM 961 then I have to install Activos version 922 then I will import a sample project in Activos and then I have to register the active uh, ActiveOS workflow adapter in Hub Console and finally I have to do task setting once all this will be done I will just create a task in the IDD and I will see that task in the ActiveOS workflow engine so the impact will be that customer can use ActiveOS as workflow engine and outside users, users can also handle the task so let me show you a demo how to do this first thing I will just go to the ActiveOS and, uh, and I will import a sample project here I have already import a, imported a project in FMDM then I will go to the MDM of console and I will move to workflow manager and I will register the ActiveOS workflow adapter in the hub console by clicking on add so here I provide this uh, this all information the workflow engine name, adapter name, host name where I have installed the ActiveOS the port number on which port ActiveOS is running the username and the password I'll click OK and finally I will select this registered workflow engine for the ORS by the, this drop down once it is done I will just go to the users and I will create a user here so this user e admin I have uh, already configured here and I will provide some role to this uh, user in my case I provided this data stable role uh, to the e admin user and this role should be present in the tomcat.xml file I will go to the servers I will click open and I will open tomcat user.xml so this is my user that I have created in the hub console and this is the role I have uh, provided in the roles once all it is done, I will just go to the repository manager and validate the ORS. Once the ORS is validated, I will go to the IDD and IDD configuration and I will create a task. in my case I have created the merge, merge task by clicking on add so I have to give the task name uh, display name and the task type ID so this task type ID is I will go to the active boss the projects and deploy folder so here I will see that informer.pdd I will go to the partner link and active was so this service in uh, under the my role this service I have to just copy it and same I have to provide here for the task type ID I will click OK then I will configure this task for the subject area I have this subject area, I will go to the added subject area task assignment and for this subject area I have configured merge and I have given the role as data steward the same role I have configured the user, BPL user I will click OK 
and I will save it and validate this application. Once the application is saved and validated, I will just redeploy it. Application is re uh, redeployed. I will launch the application. I will create a new record for the subject area for which I have configured the task. I will create one more record. Since I have uh, configured the merge task for this subject area, so I will create a merge task. add merge candidates and I will create a merge task So my task is created. Now we'll go to the Active Boss uh, console. Now we'll, I should be able to see this task here. So here I'm able to see this task. So once the task is created, I can. I start my workflow from uh, ActiveOS. So that's all from uh, demo side of the MDM, MDM and ActiveOS integration. So just in summary that we have created, uh, we have imported the sample project in uh, ActiveOS. We have registered the ActiveOS adapter in Hub Console. We have done the task setting and we have uh, configured the task for the subject area. And we have uh, created a Merge, merge task for the subject area and we were able to see the task in the in the ActiveOS central and we would like to hear your feedback on this video uh, so please provide your feedback on this thank you very much